Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be about how to stop worrying and overcome fear. I have personally worried a lot in my life. There's like a confidence committee in my head and they're like, ah, oh, Nat, you tried that before. Why are you gonna try that again? It didn't work last time. Why would it work this time? Or Nat, who said you were good enough? Or what if this happens? What if that happens? Which has kind of totally stopped me from doing things or has bound me up in fear, which really is not healthy. I don't know, but I think most of us have the confidence committee yapping around in our brains. So I came up with some awesome tips and some scientific research about how to stop worrying and overcome fear. Well, actually, I haven't come up with these tips and scientific research, but Dr. Caroline Leaf did. So if you want to watch her stuff, it's How to Detox the Brain is the first page on YouTube, and you can find the whole series on there. So research shows that we are designed to control our reactions. We cannot control the events and circumstances that happen to us, but we can control our reactions to them. The more we focus on something, the more power we give it. So the more I focus on fear, the more control it has over me. So let's get scientific. Right now, you're hearing my words. You're aware of what's happening around you. Ow, there's something in my eye. Your five senses are being activated. You control your brain. Your mind and your brain are two separate things. Your mind controls your brain. What you see and what you hear and capture as thoughts turn into something inside your brain. So thoughts are an actual physical substance and they grow into little trees called dendrites. So dendrites are this kind of like little tree thing in your brain. So dendrites are chromosomes that have a DNA code inside of them. And when you think you activate the DNA code in the chromosomes and they group together to make these thoughts. So basically, thoughts look like trees. You're the designer of the tree. You are unique. You have a spirit, a soul, and a body. You are always thinking and you are always choosing. You have feelings. Your thoughts control your body. The thoughts that you are thinking right now are affecting 75 to 100 trillion cells in your body. Your thoughts kind of like occupy mental real estate. What you say and what you do are based off of first what you built into your brain. These thoughts can be for healing and for good, or they can be for destruction and for bad, for worrying, for fear. And in Romans 12, the Bible talks about renewing your mind. We have to bring all thoughts into captivity to Christ. And in Philippians 4, it talks about how we should think of good things, lovely things, honorable things, just, admirable things, and those are the kind of things that we should think about. So I used to think, how the heck do I renew my mind? How do I stop worrying? How do I stop thinking about fear and just think about good stuff? Like, how do you even do that? So research shows that 75 to 98% of all mental, physical, and emotional illnesses trace back to our thought lives. And this is like so freaking true because Nathan, my husband, is the most positive person ever that I know. He doesn't allow fear or stress or worry to get into his mind. He doesn't let them affect him. And last year, it was crazy. I was like sick so many freaking times, especially this one time. I had this like really bad virus and he was sleeping in the same bed right next to me and he didn't catch a single thing. I was like, what? So. Anyways, back to research. Illnesses trace back to our thought lives, and that includes stuff like cancer, which is mind-boggling. So when I heard this, I was like, I need to change my thought processes. So coming back to our good and bad thoughts, whenever we think of good things, of nice and lovely things, or whenever we worry or fear or think about bad things, it is a choice. You can get rid of the bad trees, of the bad thoughts, of fears and doubts and worry. And as much as it doesn't feel like it's a choice, as much as fear feels like it just grips all of you and that you can't shake it and that you can't do anything about fear, it is a choice. We can either decide to think about the fears, to focus on what can go wrong, and we can grow that tree of fear. We can give it so much power that it just controls us completely. Or, this is probably the harder one, but we can choose to not think about fear. That doesn't mean that the fears go away, it just means that we don't give fear the power power anymore. We can choose to think about good and positive outcomes. Like for example, if you're going for that job and you're like, 
this is my dream job, but I am capable and I know that I can get this job. And if I don't, I'm gonna be okay. Or we can think of it in a bad way like, oh my gosh, this is my dream job. If I don't get this, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Everything is crashing down on me if I don't get this job and there's so much pressure and I can't deal with this. Like, we can choose to believe that even though bad things might happen, we're still gonna be okay. We can choose to give positivity the power. This is how you conquer fear. You don't give it the power. Now try it. Every time you feel afraid, replace your fear with a good thought. For example, if I'm ever afraid of our finances, I start thanking God and I'm like, you know what? There's always food on our table. We can save to buy our own house and our needs are always met and even our little wants are met. When I give thankfulness the power rather than fear, I feel so much better because I'm not thinking about the stuff that I should have or the things that could go wrong and I think about what God has already given me and how he has already provided. So let's make good trees. Even though it's hard, let's choose to think good thoughts. So I hope it helped. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Bye, I love you all.